All right, here's how to change the transmission fluid and filter on a Chevrolet pickup truck. This is a 1994 model. Uh, we've got this kit, which is a transmission filter and gasket set. Costs $9.99. $9.99. And a big jug of transmission fluid is $20. So there's no drain plug on the cover itself. So what you'll have to do is loosen up all the bolts and then kind of pop it loose and let it, let it leak out and then take it off, replace the bolts, and put it back on. Pretty simple. Some of the bolts are longer than others, so make sure you, you, I'm putting them in the same pattern that they came out in so that I'll know where the long ones go and where the short ones go. So far, the long ones are the ones that are holding an extra bracket on that's holding a cable. The rest of them are shorties. All right, I have removed the bolts around that corner, so it's all dripping out of that corner, and then I've loosened up the bolts around the rest of it. And that is what it looks like. So we're just going to let it rain out until it's all rained out. You need a pretty big oil pan to catch it all because it's such a big thing. All right, so now there's just two bolts left in, in, on this corner holding it on. So I'm going to take those out and it's going to get messy. So I'm supporting it with my hand while I take the last two bolts out. Oh, what a mess. There we go. Now you want to inspect the pan for any chunks or scary stuff. This pan has a magnet in it with uh, all this kind of magnetic uh, tiny metal chunks. So we want to make sure we clean that off before putting the new pan on. They recommend that you clean it with solvents, that you don't use paper towels or any kind of uh, uh, paper or cloth because you don't want to leave behind any little residues. Oh, chunks of paper or chunks of cloth to go in there and get stuck in things. This is the filter. Make sure that the new filter you bought is the same size and shape. Some of them are held on by a bolt and some of them just pop off. I think this one just pops off. Yes, it does. Right, now my replacement filter came with this cap on it, but the old filter doesn't have that. So in order to fit it in the hole, I've got to remove that cap and just jam it in there like that. So you want to compare the snorkel size on your old filter with the new one. Make sure you're getting it into the right size hole. And then it'll just press your fit in there. And then we put the new gasket on and put the pan back on. So to hold the new gasket in place, I've started all of the bolts through it. The holes in the gasket are smaller than the bolts, so they'll, they'll all grab on. So I'll put it up there and just start tightening the corners and then kind of crisscross, crisscross, crisscross. Crisscross will make you jump. Except for the two long ones. So there's two long bolts that are holding a bracket on on the passenger side of the truck. So those I'm going to have to put in after I've started the pan because I've got to get the bracket part under there. Now the torque value on the bolts is going to be 18 foot-pounds. If you don't have a torque wrench, that's just tight but not super tight. So you don't want to over torque them because they're not really hold doing much more than seal the pan and, and hold this fairly light pan on there so 18 foot pounds and you do one here one here one here one here keep crisscrossing around crisscross is not having anything today and do them more than once because they're going to feel looser as you do another one you know as you do one over here this one over here is going to feel loose so go around it three or four times just checking the torque on and that'll do then to fill it up we're going to put a funnel into the transmission dipstick hole so start up the truck Start up the truck, just let it idle, and run it through all the gears. And then with the truck idling in park, check the transmission level. So it's hard to see on here, but you can see it's, it's just between the two holes there. You don't want it to be too full. Too full is bad. You want it to be between those two lines. I'm going to go get it warmed up and check it again and just make sure that the hot value is, is okay. That it's up to the, the one on the right and the hole on the right. So mine took the full four quart jug to fill up. Now the manufacturer says that the transmission holds five quarts so there's some caught in the system that I didn't get out but I'm still 80% new stuff so I can live with that.